Hello everyone. Welcome back to Info Science. Today, let's discuss some of the examples of the phylum Platyhelminthes. So, we will discuss one by one this example. So, the first one is the tapworm. The scientific name of this tapworm is Tenia solium. So, this tapworm it is also known as pork tapworm as it completes some stages of the life in the pork and the reason why the it is known as tapworm as their body is flat and it looks like a measuring tap this worm is digenetic as it completes its life cycle in two hosts that is the human being and the pig so here the human being it acts as the primary host and the pig it acts as the secondary host so the criteria behind this is that if the sexual reproduction of the parasite is completed in the host that is whichever host then that become a primary host so this means that this worm complete the sexual reproduction in the humans so that's why the human beings are the primary host now let us know about the morphology so how it looked like uh, here the body is flat and it is divided into three parts so the first part is the scolex that is the head so you could see here in the picture which one is the scolex next is the neck that is the unsegmented part and the third portion is the strobilus that is the segmented part so in this picture you could see which one is the scolex neck and the strobilus now let us know about this one by one so the scolex it consists of two rows of hooks and four suckers and it acts as a organ of attachment so in the picture you could see here which one is the hooks and the suckers so you could see how the suckers are present in the tap one in the four sides it is present now the neck the neck it is the unsegmented region and it acts as the growth zone and area of segmentation The third part is the strobilus so it is the segmented part and here each segment known as the proglottides so in the picture you you could see which one is the proglottides so the proglottides are of three types that is the immature mature and gravid proglottides so the immature proglottides here the sex organs are not fully developed these are immature and the in mature proglottides the sex organs are well developed and in gravid proglottides it have the highly branched uterus filled with the cyst so here one of the important thing is that from the neck region the new proglottides is formed and from the gravid proglottides this mature proglottides it continuously get detached and this detachment is known as apolysis so apolysis means it is the loss of the gravid proglottides now let us know about the reproduction so here reproduction it is hermaphrodite that means they have both the male and female sex organ and fertilization is self and internal and development is direct that means they source the larval forms so here the larval stage is hexagonal and cystic circles so the general characteristics here are same but some of the other important characteristics are there next is planaria so planaria its scientific name is dugesia tigrina 
so this is a free living platyhelminthes and its morphology is little bit different so it developed the sense organs like the eyes and it's in the anterior part here you could see the head so it is triangular type and the body is flat and leaf like so it has a mouth and the pharynx which protrudes out from the mouth now let us know about the reproduction here the reproduction it is hermaphrodite that means they have the both the male and female sex organs and you could see here the in the picture where that in the planera it have the both the ovary testes panis in the same body and the development is direct and fertilization is cross and internal and one of the important characteristics that it shows the high power of regeneration so if the body it gets cut into pieces then every piece can give rise to new planera now let us know about the next example that is the liver fluke so liver fluke its scientific name is fasciola hepatica and it is commonly known as sheep liver fluke and it is endoparasite and digenetic that means it completes its life cycle in the two host that is the here the primary host is the sheep or goat and the secondary host is limnia that is the snail so the morphology so you could see here how the liver fluke look like it is a flat and leaf like and the development is direct with many larval stages one more important uh, example is the tenia saganta so this is also commonly known as the beef worm and this tenia saganta it completes its life cycle in the human beings and the cows 